Today, what I'm going to show you is how I built three AI SEO tools in one single click using bolt.new. And these tools are 100% free. And I'll give you access to all of them at the end of this video. In fact, you don't even need to pay for the API. So you can see, for example, this is a tool built with bolt.new. It really didn't take long, took a few minutes. I don't code at all. And you can see here, you just select your API, you can pop it in, you can do your topical map, or you can even create content. Here's an AI article writer. You can embed these to your website, like you can see, and you can add in your own source context, et cetera. And the crazy thing about this is you can build them for free. I'll show you how in a minute, and you can use them for free. You don't even need to pay for the API. And I'll show you exactly how I built them so that you can understand the process and create your own. Plus, if you don't like the tools or they're not 100% what you want, it's okay because I'm going to show you how to create them either using my SAP or if you just want to steal the prompts from me that I use directly on bolt.new to create these tools, then you can do that, customize them to your business, and I'll give you access to those at the end of the video. And I'll even show you how you can make money and get more SEO traffic using bolt.new. Absolutely amazing tool. It's changing the game. Let's get straight into it. So to get started, you want a bolt.new account, which you can actually sign up for free. The first tool I ever built with Bolt was completely free and you only need to pay for it if you're paying for credits. Now, once you've done that, then you can go to aistudio.google.com and you can get these free API keys that you can actually use inside these tools, right? AI Studio is free. Bolt.new is free if you stick to the token limit daily. And that's enough to basically use them. So for example, if we go to create a new API key over here, I'll delete this at the end of the video, but I'm just showing you as an example, we'll copy this, we'll go to our tool, we'll select Gemini Pro, plug in the API key. You can add source context and you can base in some LSI, semantic entities, et cetera. So we'll just add some source context as an example. Here's one I created earlier. So I've pasted in this source context about me, who I am, et cetera. And then we'll hit right article. And the other cool thing about this is you can embed it to your website, right? So it's really easy to just get the iframe code. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then you can see it writes the content like so. Now, if you want to generate more content, you can click on generate more content. That'll write more content in the article. Boost up the word count if you want to cover more topics, make it more comprehensive, etc. And because I'm giving you the prompts away for free today, you can even tailor this to however you want it, right? So if I want more words or I want it using a different API or whatever, you can do that using the prompts I'll give you today, right? So let me show you exactly how to create these tools and how I did it, right? So if we look at this keyword research tool, here's an example of what it looks like. You can select your API, plug it in, put in your niche and then it'll generate keywords for you. Now, the way that I generated it was using this prompt right here. So we can copy that. And I basically say create a keyword research tool, drop down box to select the preferred API model. People plug in their own API key. This is really important because then it doesn't cost you anything for people to use your tool because they're using their own API key. And then the keyword tool, like you can see right here, asks them what their niche is. They plug in their keyword. They hit start keyword research. And you can see that the UI actually is really nice and simple. And so I didn't do any of this design. I literally just prompted it using this, went back and forth a little bit, which I'll come on to later. And then we're good to go, right? And so the way that you can do this, I'll show you how to do it from scratch, is you just go into bulk.new and it says, what do you want to build? You plug in the prompt. We hit enter like so. And that's going to generate something that looks similar to the tool you can see right here. Now, the other cool thing here is that you can actually save the chat and you can see your chat history inside Bolt. So you can see all these chat histories that I've got on the left. So if you ever want to refer back to any of the tools that you've created, super easy and fast to do. Now, if it's coding it from scratch, it will take a bit longer than if you're just tweaking it. So it takes, usually it's a lot faster to just make one or two tweaks if you want to personalize it more to what you need. But for actually creating the code and everything like that, it's going to take a few minutes just straight off the bat. You'll also see that sometimes you get these errors like this. And literally all you need to do is you just take a screenshot like that. You can then copy the screenshot into bold, type in troubleshoot, and then it will fix everything based on that. And that's how you can create these tools that are so easy to do. You can customize this to your niche, your business. You could give it some keywords or you could give it some ideas of like what products you're selling. Anything you can imagine, you can basically do and you can create these free SEO tools. Also, just a little disclaimer here. It can take a minute or so for this to load this preview, but you can see the code and then you can see the preview on the other side. And now we've got a tool. And then once you're ready to actually publish your tool, you can just hit deploy in the top right. That'll give you a URL. It's kind of like a staging URL like this, but you can actually go into Netify, change the domain and set it up to redirect to whatever domain you've bought and verified via Bolt. 
super easy and fast. So it's pretty amazing what you can do. That's just one example. I'm going to show you many other examples today. And I'm going to give you all the tools away for free. So make sure you keep watching. Now, if you want to embed it to your website, all you do is you just say like, give me the embeddable iframe code for WordPress. And you do this after you've deployed the tool, it'll give you the iframe code. You copy that, you can slap it into your website and you live in the dream, just like you see right here. All right. So that's tool number one. And that automates keyword research, all the notes, all the access, all the prompts, all the SPs, et cetera, you get from today directly at the end of this video. Next up, we have this AI content writer tool that I created. And uh, basically, again, you just plug in your API, put in the keyword, put in the source context, put the related keywords, and then just select your model. So if you see an AI model that you want inside there that you don't already have, just modify the prompt. The prompt is right here. And then you can use that inside bold.new and then just create your own AI article writer. Bear in mind, a lot of SEOs are spending like thousands of dollars on article writers. Now you can create a custom tailored one built for your business. That's probably better than most things out there. And you can do that in a couple of days. Plus, if there's something that you want to change later, you can always just edit the project on Bolt and change whatever you want, tweak whatever you want if you get new ideas. So here's an example of the project inside Bolt. Here's what it looks like once it's embedded. And here is the prompt itself. Now, like when you're creating these prompts, if they're quite complex, like you can see, for example, an SEO article writer, that can be quite a complex prompt. Be prepared to go back and forth a little bit with Bolt because there may be some errors. So there may be some tweaks or you might not like the content, etc. cetera. It might not be 100% ready to go. Bear in mind, I just did these in like 20 minutes. If you spent a whole day or if you spent a couple of weeks in this, it would probably be the best article writer that you've ever found because it's all tailored to exactly what you want. And so literally I said to Bolt, create an SEO article writer, drop down box to select the preferred AI model, ask them what keyword they want to rank for, create a box for the source context. Users doesn't have to insert the, it's not mandatory to insert that information, but use it to generate the article. And then we've got the guidelines for writing the content, as you can see, and also some negative AI fluff words to avoid inside the content. The other thing that I would say is like, obviously, depending on what API you use, you're going to get different outputs. For example, if you use Gemini Pro, that is a free API key, but is it as good at writing as say like Claw 3.5 is? Absolutely not in my opinion, but you get the power and you get the choice to say, right, okay, this is the API I like to use for creating content. So I'm going to insert that inside my model. And you just ask Bolt to insert that, right? So for example, if you're like, oh, I want Claw 3.5 in there, just ask it to insert. Claw 3.5 AI model inside. So just to recap so far, I've shown you how to create free tools. I've shown you how to get a free API using Google AI Studio. I've shown you how to tweak these tools to whatever you want and however you want them. And I've shown you two tools that I've created so far, which is keyword research and the AI content writer. Let's keep going. The next tool that I actually created is the top one map maker, which you can see live on the staging website right here. So you select your AI model again, plug your API, etc. So for example, if we go to Gemini Pro, we'll grab API key, we'll copy the API key, as you can see, we'll go into Gemini Pro, plug in the API key, and then you can put whatever you need. So for example, let's say you are in the SEO niche, we'll hit SEO like so. And the fact that you can do pretty much all of this for free is, is still mind blowing, right? I didn't, now you can see it's loaded. It also so it gives you the top authority map. Now bear in mind, like if you were hiring an agency to do a top map for you, it would literally cost like hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Now you can do it for free using these tools, super powerful. And if you're like, oh, for I want it to be more comprehensive, etc., then you can just go back into Bolt, use the prompt, tweak the prompt and make it however you want. So for example, in the SEO, top of authority map is giving us a category for SEO fundamentals, then it covers the basics. Then it's got a section for technical SEO, content optimization, link building, local SEO, etc. These are relevant categories and pages underneath. And it even tells you like, okay, is this information or is this commercial content? So if we scroll down here, you've got the SEO services section and it's got a bunch of commercial pages that it recommends to build top authority on your website by SEO. And you can daily list whatever you want. So let's say you want it for cats, then it will wait to generate the top of map. We've got the same API key as before, Gemini Pro. And all of a sudden, like any sort of automation you can imagine, you can pretty much do with Bolt. And these tools, I would say as well, really good for your team. So for example, if you're like, oh, I want my team to follow the same process every single time or the same tool, or for example, you have an SEO agency and you want to sell a certain service, you could create an automation like this, and then your team just operate the tool. And that's a machine that works over and over again using the free APIs.
So for example, top authority map, your cat breeds, cat behavior, cat health, etc. Everything that you would need to create top authority on your website. So that is the top map maker. For this one, we just said create an SEO top map maker tool, add a box to select the preferred API. You'll notice that all the prompts start off like this, just so that you've got the basics and you can literally copy and paste that into anyone. Then ask for their niche from there, suggest random categories underneath, etc. And the final one is the content analyzer. So let me pull up an example of that. When you open up these projects again, it's just going to have to install on the terminal. As you can see this preview right here, it looks like white space, but just give it a minute or so and it should load. You don't need to tweak or worry that your project's gone or whatever. Like it will come back. Like it just takes a little minute or so for that to work. Right. And then you've basically got your own content analyzer tool with a readability score. LSI keywords recommended on the right, AI suggestions. You can plug in a competitor analysis. I haven't tested that out properly yet. And then again, you just select your API key. So for example, when I plug in content right here and the keyword gives me the recommended LSI keywords, gives me some AI powered suggestions. It's got the content outline here. You can also just click on copy outline to editor. If you want to automate the content outline, I honestly think that needs a lot of tweaking. But you can see how easy and powerful this is. And again, if it doesn't work or there's something you don't like, it's okay. Just edit the prompts, like just create your own and personalize it to you and your business. So for this one, you got the prompt here. And I actually asked ChatGPT to come up with the instructions, which you can see right here. So it said create an AI powered SEO optimized content analyzer designed to help users create high ranking content. And there you go. You can also see it's given us a SEO score in the top right based on how we performed, readability score, LSI keywords, etc. Bear in mind as well, the more complex you make your tools, the more likely they are to break. So I would always recommend simplification. And additionally, the more complex the requirements in the prompt, the less likely it is to work, right? Or the more back and forth you're going to have to go with. Now, once you've deployed, you're going to see something like this. Then you've got the page right there ready to go. So thanks so much for watching. Just to recap, I've shown you how I built free ARCO tools in one click using bolt.new. These tools are 100% free and I've given you access to them inside this SAP. You don't need to pay for the API because I've shown you how to get it for free with Google Studio. I've shown you exactly how I built them so that you can understand the process and create your own too. Plus, if you don't like the tools, like I've mentioned, you can just personalize them to yourself. And if you're wondering, okay, how do you make money from these tools? What I would recommend, and this is what I do for my custom GPTs, is you use something like this. So you can see, for example, if you put the instructions inside the tool for every answer output, put tool by Julian Goldie, and then link to all your main funnels. I think that would work really well. The other thing that you could do is you could use these as lead magnets. People have to opt in to actually get access to the tools. And if you're feeling very risky, you could potentially sell them. The only thing that I would say, right, is that there might be some security risks on the tools. It's just something to bear in mind. I don't know much about coding. Additionally, when using Bolt, like I want to make sure that you realize it's not magic. It's not 100% perfect. So the 80, 20 of your time will be spent on tweaking and getting these tools exactly how you want them. You have to do some troubleshooting if you're creating these tools yourself. If you create one tool per day, it's going to be free. If you create more than that, you'll probably have to pay like the $20 subscription on Bolt. And these tools, and with great power, my friends, comes great responsibility. So these tools are not for spamming. You know, use them ethically. Make sure you always quality control your content. I've got a whole quality control section inside my free SEO course. Links inside the comments and description. Now, if you want access to all the tools, all the prompts, even the disclaimer for making money, access to links to show you how to embed it, and even a step-by-step SAP for creating an embedding SaaS tools with Bolt, like you can see right here, it shows you step-by-step -step how to create the tool, generate it, embed it, test it, etc. deploy it. Well, if you want access to all of this, you can get it directly inside my free SEO course, log into the free SEO course, then go to the free SEO tools category, and then go to creating tools for bold. You'll find the video notes right there. This free SEO course comes with nearly 170 lessons on how to do SEO, including SEO workflows, tips, prompts, SAPs, pretty much everything you can imagine, quality control, link building, keyword research, topple maps, and the link to this free SEO course is in the comments and the descriptions. Feel free to get that. Now, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot, feel free to get that. Links in the comments and description. This free link building acceleration session 
We'll give you a free SEO domination plan. We'll answer any questions you have. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors in link building and how to 10x the SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Links in the comments description, feel free to get that. And if you're not already, make sure you join the SEO Elite Circle. We have a community of people doing SEO together. You can DM me with any questions that you have. It comes with loads of amazing training, as you can see. And if you want to jump on weekly calls with me, you can. Right, you can see we have weekly coaching calls right here. So if you have any questions, etc., feel free to join the SEO Elite Circle, and I will see you in there, my friends. Bye bye.